have great taste, especially with your radio choice. Thank you for spending a little time with Gary and Bristol on Kiss Country 93.7. Oh. That's Tyler Hubbard back then, right now. Kiss Country 93.7, Gary and Bristol. Okay, we've got uh, lake flood warnings for three area lakes now. Cross Lake, Wallace Lake, Caddo Lake. Mm-hmm. Now, Caddo, I'm thinking, has already crested, unless, you know, the rain that we got yesterday has added to the problem. But usually, Caddo, the, the big area of concern is north of Caddo. All those creeks and stuff, you know, draining into the Big Cypress River. And generally, if there's not as much rain up there, what what actually falls on Caddo doesn't count as much as, as what stuff would, coming down right. the stream. And did you see the lady that was rescued on Bistino? No. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm surprised that I haven't seen an official, you know, flood warning on that one because that's going up to people's porches, too. Well, they're saying now that, um, you know... A lot of folks were were kind of upset with the city of Shreveport over the floodgates on Cross Lake. Okay. And they were saying, you know, why didn't they raise the floodgates or lower the floodgates quicker or open them? They did. Apparently, if you look at the Kiss Country app, there's a story there that says uh, Shreveport Department of Water and Sewage did take this seriously. Uh huh. They opened the water gates Monday before oh, wow. the rain so ever got there. Time. Yeah, and it says at that time. The lake was actually below normal level, uh-huh. so they went ahead and opened the gates. Let it get even lower. And we just got so much rain in such a short period of time. It has raised it up. Uh, it has been closed to boaters until further notice. Mm-hmm. They say it already has crest at 175.17, but it is starting to fall. They say that, though, you know, because of all the high water, there have been some sewage issues in Shreveport. Mm. Sewers backing up. <laughs> Which is never fun. No, and that's going to be such a long process to fix. Yeah, if we can ever find the money for it. Okay, so if you're uh, if you're living around the lake right now and you've got some water up where it doesn't need to be, or you've got like stuff oh, where gosh. it doesn't need to be, they say that uh, if you got a sewer issue, call the city of Shreveport six seven three seventy six hundred. Hey, there's stuff. There's stuff, yes. Close stuff. to my living room. Don't like it. Luke Combs, cold as you. It's Kiss Country 93.7, Gary and Bristol. You know, in the South, we have our own little unique ways to tell somebody they're an idiot. Bless your heart. God bless your heart. <laughs> Apparently, they don't get to do that up north, or they just have never thought about it. Really? Because they have other ways of being politely insulting. Okay. Online right now, people are talking about their favorite insults that don't sound in offensive. Like, what an odd thing to say out loud. Ah! <laughs> Down here we say, you said that with your outside voice. Uh-uh. That sounds like something you'd say. <laughs> Things that people around the country are saying uh, are insults, but don't sound offensive. I admire how you don't let your limitations affect your confidence. That's just wrong. You know, it is impossible to underestimate you. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> Wisdom has been chasing you, but you have always been faster. I've heard that one before. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh. Someone wrote, I just sigh and say, oh, sweetie. <laughs> You've done that. I've heard you do that. Oh, sweetie. Yeah. Okay, Sugar let's bear, talk. Honey bunches. Yeah. yeah, we got to talk about that. You are all mouth, but no trousers. Oh, now I see what I every- had to think about that. Uh, okay. Oh, now I see what everyone's talking about. Stop it. That's Ways crazy. that people are insulting other people without sounding offensive. I admire your enthusiasm. <laughs> I have said that one before. Now, this was my absolute favorite. I have never heard this one before. And it's it's classic. Maybe teachers don't do this anymore, but your teacher always handed you your test back face down, didn't she? Yes. If you had an A on there, my gosh, you wanted the whole class to yeah. say, oh, yeah. Yeah, your teacher face always down, handed you, you your test. Well. Yeah, it came back to you face down, didn't it? Yeah. Mm. She didn't want to show the rest of the class that you were the reason why the curve got lowered. <laughs> it's Gary and Bristol on Shreveport Boat.
Exposure's number one for new country. Kiss Country 93. John Party, heartache on the dance floor. It's Kiss Country 93.7. Gary and Bristol. National Pet Day today. We're celebrating the dogs and the cats and the fish and the little mice and Ferris gerbils. And all the things. Hamsters. Whatever kind of pet you've got. Uh, nationwide Pet Insurance. Last year, they uh, they held the wackiest pet name contest. Last year's winners, dog named Doc Holiday. Okay. Cat named Spicy Beef Burrito. <laughs> they just announced this year's finalists. Voting closes tomorrow. The ones in the in the near the top right now uh, in the dog category, Boots with the Fur. Everybody in the club was looking at her. Chug Chug Pickles. <laughs> Little Richard Simmons sweating to the oldies. Oh my gosh. Lord Waddles. <laughs> in the uh, in the cat world right now, they've got um uh, what is it? Uh Balsamic Vin. Okay. Car alarm. Itty bitty kitty committee. <laughs> <laughs> Meow and A's. Nice. Yeah. Uh, necro. N- necro. Uh, ne- I can't say it. Necro on me cat. What? Like, you know, it's like a necromaniac, but it's necro. Necron. Um, necromaniac? Necroma cat. Oh my gosh. Necronoma cat. say it either. Skull crusher. Okay, for That's a in, cat. In, yeah. Tony Scarface Baloney. <laughs> and the Samsung Family Hub Refrigerator. How that cat got that name. Uh, they have uh, some uh, other uh. animals that they nominated too. Okay. Guinea pig named Cow Pig. A lizard named Frosted Mini Weights. A tortoise named Mid Sized Sedan. And an actual pig named Snoop Hoggy Hog. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, between that and Boots with the Fur. Yeah. You can vote on those at petinsurance.com. Uh, they will announce the winners next Wednesday. But the craziest part to me is, you know, there's a there's a ton of people have some strange pets. We had a a, a wild, a feral pig. You know, a little pig. Right. Until he got old. Until, no, he ran away. Did he really? Yeah. I think somebody had him for a Sunday afternoon barbecue, oh, honestly. Man. It wasn't nice. I will say that. We've had... Not that you didn't think about it. No. We've had these... Uh, what are those big ones? The, the guinea pigs. We've mm-hmm. had those. What else? We've had a turtle. You know what? We Not just a pet fish. We had a bass. A bass that I had trained to come up and eat a minnow out of my fingers. Stop it. Oh, yeah. And one day she got so excited, she jumped to grab the minnow and jumped out of the aquarium and got on the floor and I never could get her over that. And she got a fungus and she went to fish heaven. I'm so sorry, Gary. Broke my heart. I can't believe you had a fish you didn't want to put a hook in. No. Well, that's how she got there. <laughs> okay, so have you ever had a strange pet before? I think the strangest one I've had was a rat. Like a rat rat? Yeah. Like, I mean, you found it out in the woods, rat? Yeah. Um, no, it was in the barn. I was a kid. Like, it got, I don't know, like abandoned or something. So... I put it in one of those hamster cages and all that stuff. It and you was, had a rat. It was a really hot summer. And God love him, he cooked. It was awful. It was awful. Mm. I cried, Gary. I had a friend who had raccoons. I know people that have had possums. Ooh, no. Some Shoot people had them. squirrels. Shoot, my wife and her brother and sister, they had a squirrel when they were growing up. Their dad. How do you it. have a squirrel? It was abandoned by the mother. And, Same thing. And, yeah. Okay. So what about you? Craziest pet you ever had? We are dying to hear your story. 725-5477-725 KISS. Almost as important as your morning coffee. It's Terry and Bristol. Only on KISS Country 93.7. Zach Brown Man is chicken fried. Shreveport Bozier's number one for new country. Just. Kiss Country 93.7, Gary in Bristol, and, you know, the only reason why we're so popular, look at us, (laughs) is because 
we get access to all the cool tickets to the best concerts. Right. And That's it's it. not like we actually... We buy our friends. We don't actually, like, get to say who gets them. We just get to give them away. Yeah. 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 And, you know, that's what Ticket Trivia is all about. Amen. And it is also why we are your country concert connection. Because we got your tickets to go see Hank Jr. and Neil McCoy coming up on April 20th at Berkshire Grocery Arena. And if you missed the answer to yesterday's question, shame on you guys. About half of all men say that they only do this on the weekend. We wanted to know what that was. It was call their mom. Hey, the other half, the other half are calling her every day. They make up for it. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Ticket trivia this morning. It's going to test your musical trivia. We're going to get you to finish the line. We're going to play you a little piece of a song. Your job, not to tell us who's singing it, not to tell us the title. Your job is to sing the next line. Only going to play it once, so listen closely. Right now. Can you do it? As in. <laughs> Somebody's going to say, play it again. No. Mm-mm. Play it again. No, no, no. What's the next line? All right. Thank you. No. 725-KISS. 725-5477. It's Gary in Bristol all morning long. I know you're scared of that cockadoodle, dude. Kiss Country 93.7. Kiss Country 93.7. We are Gary in Bristol. Looks like most of the rain has moved off to the east of us now, but we still have uh, flood warnings. I mean, flooding in process, if you will. Flood warnings for Caddo Lake, Cross Lake, and Wallace Lake. And did you see the long-term forecast? It's looking like more rain next week. No! Hopefully some of this will subside. Cool story on our website about whether or not, you know, do we need to start getting concerned about the possibility of Red River? Getting out of its banks? I mean, have you driven over any of the bridges lately? It's awful high. Yeah. I don't want to be the bearer of bad tidings, so we'll shut up now. Yes, we will, because it is time to meet this week's Kiss Country Caught in the Act Award recipient. And uh, very rarely does this happen, but it's happening this morning. We have a duo that's getting the reward. And this morning, it's Katie and Sophie Green. Okay, they're here. Katie, Sophie, how are you this morning? Good. Thanks. Good. <laughs> okay, so you guys know what's going on. This is Gary in Bristol from Kiss Country 93.7. Cat <laughs> got your tongue. Okay, y'all put the softball. Y'all put the softball mitts down. We're going. We're going. We're going to talk for a minute. We we got a letter uh, from y'all about that lady standing there. Uh, or, or from the lady standing there with you, Miss Martha. She wrote us a letter about you. <laughs> They're still speaking. I was like, fully doing playoffs. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you, do you guys want to hear what Miss Martha wrote about you? Sure. She says these two sisters are softball players from Plain Dealing School, Katie and Sophie Grain. Back on February the 26th of this year, our softball players played at Green Oaks. The Green Oaks pitcher was having difficulty, and these two girls took it upon themselves to go and try to show her some love and try to help her. It was so heartwarming. It's what these two girls do. They are always spreading love. They go to pitching lessons with Regina Digilamo. They also helped her out on a pitching clinic this past weekend. They jumped in to help younger kids learn the sport that they are so passionate about. And I feel that these two are deserving of the Kiss Country Caught in the Act Award. (laughs) There's no crying in baseball. No, they're just nervously giggling. (laughs) That one did catch me by surprise. So... uh, (laughs) Hey, listen, I know that you guys play with your heart and soul at Plain Dealing because y'all have a tough time. You have less kids. I mean, you're bringing up middle schoolers to play on the high school team. So I know you love it. So the fact that you take time to go and help others, especially the teams you're playing, says a lot about who you are. Thank y'all so much. (laughs) Hey, and there's goodies that go with this. You guys are going to have to split it now, but you get a $100 gift certificate to go have a great meal at Silver Star. Oh, <laughs> Sophie is still speech 
why she can't talk at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Gary's just surrounded by giggling girls. He doesn't know what to do with it. So who's older? Who's, are y'all twins or is one older than the other? <laughs> Katie's the oldest. I'm the older one. I'm the uh, head pitcher that went out there first and then Sophie assisted because she was, they're both left-handed. <laughs> yeah. And? and Katie's a junior. I'm a junior and she's, uh, my sister's in eighth grade. And you guys, you got did did even the Green Oaks fans understand, you know, just how cool that was, what you were doing? I don't really know. I really wasn't paying attention to them. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. okay. She so wasn't doing it for better. anybody no, else to recognize I mean, you know, it. You like it. I, I always believed that, you know, when, when I was watching my boys play ball, I always liked, I clapped even when the other team did something cool. Oh, yeah. You know, you reward good good ball, and, and uh, I would hope that the Green Oaks team, you know, felt the same way. Yes, sir. And they've even done more since, you know, that's just part of who they are. They've helped other pitchers, and even last week, um, Katie and her catcher went out to the pitcher's mound because there was a big hole from where they dragged their feet. And they did ground maintenance in the middle of a game, you know, just to make sure other people were safe. Wow. So, I mean, it's just part of part of what they do and part of what the softball team tries to instill in all of our girls. That Absolutely. There's more to, more to it than just the game. It's about life. And I'm really proud of these two girls. Well, girls, y'all keep doing what you do because it's working. Thank you. Do you know someone who makes the world a better place? Someone always willing to lend a helping hand or volunteer when they're needed. You know, they're just so helpful. Really appreciate all that they do. We need to know about that person so we can crown them with Kiss Country's Caught in the Act Awards. Just really dependable and like a ray of sunshine when they come in the room. Gary and Bristol recognize a new person each week and give that person a $100 gift certificate from Silver Star Smokehouse. How sweet is that? Take a second to nominate someone special that you know at mykisscountry937.com or in your Kiss Country app. Taylor Roll, Lanny Wilson, save me. Kiss Country 93.7, it's Gary in Bristol, and today is National Pet Day, so we're celebrating pets of all kinds, not just the dogs and the cats, but there's the rats like what Bristol had. I did, I had a rat, that's a true story. But David also- Brown. <laughs> What's that? David Brown, my buddy that lives up on uh, Cato Lake. Uh huh. Him and his son had a couple of pet pet raccoons. I loved them. Now they do say that as they get older, they get kind of ornery. Oh, I imagine. I have heard they're if you, bandits. What do you want? Well, I've heard that if you take the scent gland out of a skunk, it makes an incredible pet. Hey, we have skunks hanging out of the farm every year. They have not had their scent gland removed. No, but you know what? They're actually cute. I mean, and they don't mess with us. We don't mess with them. I mean, once we we have the guys out to come get them the first year, and when it's like eighty dollars a skunk, yeah, y'all learn to live together. <laughs> so, what about you? The craziest pet you ever had? Good morning, Kiss Country. Who is this, and where are you calling from? Hey, this is Tim up in Benton. Hey, Tim in Benton. Yes, yeah, sir. Talking about the strange animals. I had a uh, pet cougar one time. What? Why wow, you married her, didn't you? Shut it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, I uh, really did. Gary, you remember when they had Clark's auction barn? Yeah. Okay, well, known of it, Kenneth, he's a buddy of mine. I raised miniature horses. And he asked me to bring something exotic up there, something different. So I was having an exotic auction. So I carried a miniature horse up there and sold it. And while I was there, there was somebody up there selling cougars, live cougars. And they would say I came home with a cougar. What? So, so what did a cougar cost you? Six hundred dollars. And how long did you have it? For about four weeks, five weeks. And I determined it wasn't a household pet, and it was time to do something with it. So um, I traded. I gave it to the um, Acadiana Zoo in Lafayette. I donated it to them. Wow. They gave, me a, they gave me a pet iguana. So I went from a cougar to an iguana. <laughs> <laughs> nice trade. <laughs> yeah, I go to work and my arms be all scratched up. Now, she was only about, I think she was six weeks, seven weeks old. Aww. 
19 weeks, but she, um, she, she definitely had all full claws and teeth and everything. And, uh, I go to work and everybody's like, man, what you been doing? Getting ready for deer season? Y'all arms all cut up. I said, no, just playing with my kitty cat. Lord <laughs> have mercy. <laughs> they gave me a, a lifetime membership to the zoo, so I used to go down there and see her. And she'd actually come up. Aww. Like, yeah, I remember who I was. I'll be dog. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty cool. They've tested positive, but not in a good way. Careful. These two have proven to be highly contagious. It's Gary and Bristol on Kiss Country 93.7. Country girl, shake it for me. We are Kiss Country 93.7. He's Luke Bryan. Gary and Bristol here. Looks like we still got just under 14,000 Swepco customers Ugh. wishing that they could get some electricity around this park. Listen, I can't say anything because we have power, but... All I can say is at least it isn't like it was last July. Yeah. Remember how hot it yeah. was? Record, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Record heat. Oh, gosh, it was bad. Do you realize that Louisiana is the third worst state in the entire country for power outages? Oh, I did not realize that. However, I believe it. In <laughs> fact, um, well, yeah, I'm not going to say that because... You know, I have some dear friends that work for the power company. However... And, and you know what? You can't lay all this on Swepco because right no. here in our area, we've got Clico and uh, and Panola Harrison. I mean, there's a number of electric yeah, companies that service the fact that our, our infrastructure for that is really not that good. Check out that whole story. It's in your Kiss Country app. Third worst in the country for power outages. So if you're in the dark right now, you're going, I, I know, I, I know. <laughs> That's Lanny Wilson, Wildflower, Wild Horses, Kiss Country 93.7. Ready for some moolah? Oh, I got yeah. yeah. Here's this hour's Kiss Cash Cow Code. Hey, thank you, POE Federal Credit Union, for making this possible. First code, this could win you up to $30,000. 377. Seven. 377. Put that in your Kiss Country app and be listening for the next code coming up about 920. Thanks for spending your morning with us. Woo-hoo! Gary and Bristol on Shreveport Bossier's number one for new country. <laughs> Kiss Country 93.7. Brand new country from Dan and Shay. Bigger houses. Kiss Country 93.7. Gary and Bristol. We got to hang out with Katie and Sophie Green this morning. They are the star softball players at Plain Dealing and we caught them in the act. Yes, we did. We caught them in the act of being good, good, amazing individuals. And, oh, my gosh. It was their coach that nominated them. How cute was it, though, when we got them on the phone? They were, like, speechless. They were like, oh, it's Gary and Bristol. And we're like, dude, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> well, because of their heroism, we wanted to recognize them on the radio, our Facebook page. Uh, that's up now. We've got, you know, they're on YouTube, the whole nine yards. And they got a $100 gift certificate from Silver Star just because of the kindness and the passion for the sport of softball that they have. And they're and they're Indeed. spreading that to everybody. And I love the fact that not only are they helping out their coaches and their fellow teammates, they were helping out the team they were playing yeah. at one point, which is just amazing. So check that story out if you missed it this morning when we called them and let them know that they were, they were this week's recipient. You've got that in the free Kiss Country app. Make a nomination of your own. That's how we keep this train rolling. They are to radio what Southern made is to donuts. It's Gary and Bristol on Kiss Country 